lots of different ways of abusing women and men, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually. It's a lot of spiritual abuse. We have no value, we're nothing. We're told to be quiet. We don't have any place in society. Stoning, burning, discrediting, uh, ostracization of women, demon possession happens in India. <laughs> it's her. She's at it again. Turn around. You're not wanted here. You should not defile yourself by even looking at her. Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Magdalena is different because we see Jesus focusing on women. Jesus caring for a woman, taking them from the kitchen to be people who can preach the word of God. The Magdalena film is starting for the creation. We know, already, of course, that we are created by God. How people see the women, they see that we are not as men, we are not as powerful, as strong as men are. But the Magdalena film is bringing us together, that we are all created by God, and God has created us, male and female, in his own image. As with anything in the Bible, if we can tell the same story and put it in context, that film hasn't happened 2,000 years ago, it's still happening now. Your faith has made you well. He saw her shame and restored her honor. I don't know which brings greater healing, Jesus' power or his compassion. The premiere of Magdalena at the United Nations in March 2007, I was really overjoyed just at how many people turned up for that event, about 180 UN ambassadors from all over the world. There was a beautiful woman with dark skin who came over and she just grabbed my hand and she said, when are you bringing this movie to India? The women of India really need this movie. And she was crying. I found when I got there that the case was very much as this woman had said, that these women needed to know that Jesus values them because they have no value. Uh, they're in the culture as a whole, they're told that women have no voice, that they're stupid, that they're outcasts, that their opinion doesn't matter. And when you take a message that God loves them and that Jesus came to restore women's identity and give them value and give them worth, the impact is huge. It's far greater than anything that we can imagine. What struck me about Magdalena is the way Jesus looks at the women because I actually think that that film is an amazing film for men as a model of how they should treat women. And that film shows Jesus accepting everybody and meeting them where they are. In our law, Moses commanded that such a woman be stoned to death. Yes. Stone her! <laughs> Whichever one of you has committed no sin, let him throw the first stone at her. Is there no one left to condemn you? No one, sir. Then neither do I condemn you. This is for us. Jesus is for us. Jesus loves us. Jesus was able to touch women in the film. He can also touch me. Jesus can heal me. Jesus can just take away my burden. Jesus can listen to me. Jesus forgives me. Just imagining all those women that in different bondages, with this tool, they will be able to be set free. So I was just encouraged that, oh, I've got something that I can get hold of and show other people, and uh, this will just liberate them. God sees you, Rivka. That's why he sent Jesus, to give us hope, to offer us a new life.